St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Mrs. Luigia Revelant of Burnaby, British Columbia. This Mass is offered in memory of her husband Leonardo, her son Ivan, and all the deceased members of her family. By choosing to remember Leonardo and Ivan in this way, you are joined by thousands of people across Canada, and on their behalf, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My friends, we gather here today to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. In order to enter into the celebration more fully, let us call to mind our sins, and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freed men, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Sicilia and Asia stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stops saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. I speak to God.
and I will meditate on your wondrous works. Teach me your love. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your ordinances before. comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had fed the crowd from the five loaves, he crossed the lake by walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found Jesus on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. 